I wasn't really sure what was going on at first. There were flashes from the front of the theater. I thought it was a prank, that it was fireworks. And as I began to see people taking cover, I remember thinking like, you know, what I've read in the news about Columbine and Tucson, there's no way that's actually happening to me. My name is Stephen Barton, and we're at Aurora Century 16, the movie theater complex, where I was shot but survived on July 20th, 2012. My friend and I were in Aurora staying with a friend, and in gratitude for her hospitality, we decided to take her out to the midnight showing of Batman. About 15 minutes into the movie, suddenly a canister flew across the front of the screen. I put my hand up and then just fell in my neck, just like this, this pressure all of a sudden, and, and my left arm just go limp. And I realized I'd definitely been shot, feeling the blood going down my chest, hearing my friend screaming uh, at the top of her lungs. I had a total of around 25 shotgun pellets in me. My arm it ended up taking four or five, maybe another 20. I entered my face, my neck, my chest, my shoulder, and my hands. What struck me most in the aftermath is just how arbitrary it was, where we chose our seats, whether we even had a chance to escape in the first place. I'm still trying to come to terms with that. While I was laying in my hospital bed and watching the news, I heard a lot of, of public officials offering their condolences, but I guess I'm still waiting for all of that to turn into uh, some sort of policy that will prevent these mass tragedies from happening to anyone ever again. Join me and survivors of the Tucson, Virginia Tech, and Columbine shootings and more than 700 U.S. mayors to demand a plan to end gun violence. I demand a plan, and so should you.